We've all been there, you're recording a vocal take or a vlog and someone decides to hoover your beard. And the intense volume of the hoover really does drown out the... Really does drown out the voice. But in the event that you're enough of a literal neckbeard to own a recent NVIDIA graphics card, you can use it to denoise the audio using the RTX voice beta. So you can... Uh... <laughs> Hoover your beard all you want, and as long as you're loud enough over the top of it, you'll be heard. Hoover your beard all you want, and as long as you're loud enough over the top of it, you'll be heard. Anyway, I've still got that Hoover on over there, and it's absolutely deafening. It's actually louder than my voice is now, so the fact that it's able to pick out anything is pretty amazing. That's ridiculous. Hang on. Oh, I Hoover with earplugs in. I can't deal with that shit. Uh, yeah, that's impressive. So when it comes to sort of ordinary background noises, like a little bit of clapping here or there or that kind of thing, it's really clever at, at knocking it out. Other stuff as well, like I've got a coffee machine over there. You probably can't hear that at all, to be honest. In here it's really loud, but I guess the noise reduction is actually taking it out uh, completely. I'm going to have to drink that now as well, which means I'll be awake till like 3am or something. I'm really sensitive to caffeine. Getting the RTX uh, denoising software to work is pretty simple. You just download the EXE from the website. I'll link that below and then you install it. At this point, it's created a virtual device, which is the NVIDIA RTX uh, input device. And you just tell it which real life device you want to use. I'm using uh, input nine, which is a microphone input on my Fireface UFX there. And that's just rooting into their input device. So this sound right now, if I start making silly noises, should be denoised uh, quite successfully. This is recording into Audacity, which isn't actually one of the officially supported uh, softwares, but it just goes to show that plenty of software will work with this already. When it comes to settings, there's really not that many. You just have a slider for the amount of noise reduction. Pretty simple, and I, I have to say I like that kind of plug-in control. It can get a bit sort of dull rooting through settings you only half understand, but sort of have to pretend that you do understand and hoping that it gets better through trial and error. This just does it right. Uh, there's not really much more that I could ask for control-wise. Naturally, I wanted to try out this uh, RTX real-time uh, noise reduction against a couple of other plugins that I use already. When I compared it to a couple of online processes, real-time processes that I was used to using, it just trounced them all, to be honest. Please don't do today's hoovering while I'm trying to record a voiceover. That's just unreasonable and I do not like you. Please don't do today's hoovering while I'm recording a voiceover. That is unreasonable behaviour. I don't like you. Please don't do today's hoovering while I'm trying to record a voiceover. That's just unreasonable and I do not like you. Please don't do today's hoovering while I'm trying to record a voiceover. That's just unreasonable and I do not like you. Please don't do today's hoovering while I'm trying to record a voiceover. That's just unreasonable and I do not like you. Please don't do today's hoovering while I'm trying to record a voiceover. That's just unreasonable and I do not like you. Please don't do today's hoovering while I'm recording a voiceover. That is unreasonable behavior. I don't like you. Now, I'm no expert in setting the settings for uh, noise reduction programs. There are people whose entire job is uh, cleaning up audio, and that's not me. But the point is, this uh, RTX uh, plugin does it without even trying. All of these other plugins, I had to set a setting, and the result I got just wasn't as good. It's pretty phenomenal. And it's really, really promising when it comes to thinking of applying this kind of processing real time to other audio problems, especially as it seems to have absolutely no latency. In the pro audio world we're no strangers to off processor dsp processing of audio for example pro tools with their hdx systems or uh, universal audio's uad platform of uh, shark chip based dsp processors the first time I asked an audio DSP developer about uh, using graphics cards for audio was way back in 2011 uh, when uh, Adobe announced their CUDA acceleration in uh, Premiere CS5. At the time I excitedly said, quick, quick, 
put all the plugins on the graphics card and he explained to me that latency was an issue that uh, pretty much the graphics card wanted everything loaded into its memory and that's why it could work so quickly with things because it would you'd have to sort of spend time loading it into that memory and so it probably wasn't ideal for audio processing but I don't like giving up and the second time I asked a developer about it was about a, a year ago and they pretty much said the same thing that they're just not ideal for it because they're designed for different things so I'm wondering if something has changed since then in the way that the language is applied or maybe it's just the absolute speed of these cards now is high enough that you can get incredibly low latency in fact I'm quite happy to deal with when mixing sort of a hundred odd milliseconds of latency, a tenth of a second, it's a lot, but I don't mind if I get a lot more processor overhead. So I, I think it could still have some potential if we've got the coders out there who can harness it, but hey, I'm not one of them. Since some kind of denoising or separation of data from rubbish process is intrinsic to ray tracing calculations, it makes sense that uh, denoising for audio should work on the RTX cores, but it also makes sense that perhaps this could be leveraged for other things. There are some VST plugins that I speculate could really benefit from this kind of processing. Soothe 2 is probably my favorite plugin at the moment. Uh, I pretty much use it on everything. It goes on almost every bus group and it definitely goes on, on, on vocals and that kind of thing. Um, it's excellent, but when you run four times oversampling and ultra resolution on it to make it sound its best, you really do quickly run out of CPU power. And that's even when you've got a very large buffer size. Uh, my CPU has 12 cores, it's an AMD 3900X, but I still run out of headroom sometimes. I would guess that the kind of processing that um, RTX cores are set up for is quite similar to what Soothe is doing, using an intelligent algorithm to identify certain harmonics and then remove them. So perhaps, just perhaps, uh, companies like Irksound could make use of RTX cores having seen this um, Nvidia tech demo. Obviously absolutely nothing happens on the internet without controversy and there are accusations of the wizards in the dark towers of Nvidia lying to the people and saying that you can only use an RTX card for this when actually you can use it with pretty much any recent uh, Nvidia card. You just have to do a little bit of hacking when you install it and change a setting and then you can uh, force it to install for a graphics card that isn't an RTX series one. But the results are mixed. Some people are getting just as good performance as they do on a uh, RTX series card, but some people are just having it not work, make hideous noises, drop out, or generally be rubbish. So your mileage may vary. It's up to you if you want to uh, take on the Dark Wizards or if you just want to uh, go and buy an RTX card. Regardless though, it's guaranteed to work on an RTX card, it works faster on an RTX card, and you know, having a separate set of cores that might not be doing anything in your current application uh, being used for this processing also makes a lot of sense. I'm gonna spend a bit of this video talking about what graphics cards are and what they do and why, and what RTX is and what it does and why, and how that can sort of relate to the processing we use in audio. So what is RTX and how is a graphics card technology working for audio noise reduction? Well, we can run through it quickly. Nvidia graphics cards uh, have had a language called CUDA, which has been leveraged by all kinds of professional software for a long time in order to improve things such as real-time color grading and denoising in DaVinci Resolve, or uh, visual effects, that kind of thing. Um, graphics cards have lots and lots and lots of cores, thousands of cores, all working very quickly together, doing parallel processing, so doing lots and lots of calculations. Whereas your processor might have eight cores, a graphics card may have 4,000, so in core count, it's got processors absolutely beat. The RTX cores on the new RTX uh, series of NVIDIA graphics cards are designed to deal exclusively with ray tracing. Uh, ray tracing is the calculation of light rays. So in most game engines before the advent of dedicated uh, ray tracing cores, there was all kinds of cheating and trickery going on to create shadows, uh, reflections and other kinds of, of real-time uh, light effects. Also one called global illumination which basically means light bouncing off of my hand will also uh, light up my other hand. With the addition of something like RTX cores on the new NVIDIA RTX series of cards, these complicated calculations of light bouncing uh, can be hived off to a separate set of processors that are just dedicated to doing that. So once the rest of the scene is built, you can bounce around light rays to your heart's content and not have the whole frame rate tank, or such is theory behind the thing. 
Now in order to do this in real time there's a lot of trickery going on already for a start it works in games the opposite way to the way it works in real life so uh, in real life your eyes collect the light that's bouncing off of things in a, in a game engine or a render engine light is fired out of the eye and it's calculated backwards just to make sure you're not calculating any rays that aren't seen. But one of the other important processes that used in both offline and online or real-time uh, graphics engines is denoising. When your render engine or graphics engine is sampling a scene, uh, the more time you leave it to sample for, the purer the data it has to sample that scene. Obviously the faster you try and do things, so once you're getting up to real time, like a, a 60th of a second, uh, you have less time to sample that scene, so you either need more processing power to do that sampling faster, or you need to denoise the result that you get. AI and machine learning is really, really useful for this kind of thing. It's very good at saying this is a face and this isn't a face, or this is a voice and this is a Black & Decker uh, Cordless 18 volt Hoover. It's quite smart at taking a large pool of data and working out what is and isn't wanted from it if you tell it what you're looking for. Since some kind of denoising or separation of data from rubbish process is intrinsic to ray tracing calculations, it makes sense that uh, denoising for audio should work on the RTX cores, but it also makes sense that perhaps this could be leveraged for other things. Anyway, I hope some of that has been uh, at least mildly interesting. Uh, there's obviously people who know more about this than me and whose job is to understand each specific part of what I've talked about today. So if you do understand this better than me, feel free to tell uh, me what I've got wrong in the comments. Also, feel free to have a chat with me about it. Mainly the reason I post sort of speculative blogs like this is just to talk to like-minded and interested people about the subject matter because that's what, you know, keeps the world going round in a way. Please subscribe and click the bell icon uh, so that you know when I upload uh, new videos but across all kind of subjects, video, audio, that kind of thing. So if you're interested in any of that, uh, please subscribe and you'll get some interesting stuff at some point.